hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to delete system 32s on your windows pc please guys do not try this at home however you can try this on a virtual machine if you really want to try it out by default windows doesn't allow you to do this you don't have the required permission but we are going to bypass that and then give permission to ourselves. first we have to run command prompt as administrator so go to your search bar and then right click on command prompt run as administrator now type in the first command exactly as seen. This will allow us to give permission to system32 and then hit enter. Type in the second command. And then hit enter. Now you can close the command prompt. And then open your file explorer. Go to this PC local disk, windows and then you can locate system32 down right click on it go to properties turn off read only mode from the disk now go to the security tab and then click on advanced down there now click on change under the owner section there and then in the field over there write in your machine name there so you just write in whatever name your machine bears for me it is everything tech so you can just write in everything tech click on check names and it would cross check now hit ok click on replace owners on sub containers and objects click on apply down there and then continue now we have to grant full permission to grant full permission to all of the entry click on it and then click on edit now turn on full control ok now do it for each and every entry over there click on replace all child object permission down there and then click on apply yes yes continue now run command prompt as administrator now type in the command and then hit enter type in the next command and then hit enter and then the last command to delete the files And then hit enter now watch the magic at this point nothing is opening wow white space we can literally not do anything even to shut down the PC is a problem unless you have to use the power button to shut down. Luckily, I am running this on a virtual machine so I can just close my virtual box and then open it again. At this point, even a repair won't save you. The only thing you have to do is reset the PC or run a fresh installation of Windows 11 or whichever Windows you are using. So guys, do not delete System32 folder on your Windows machine else you won't be able to access your machine. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.